this approach, you've got to get them to experience it. And when you're talking about it hypothetically, yeah. I just don't think it touches the sides. Yeah, and I think that's absolutely I really right. Don't. I think that's, that's absolutely right. This is so experiential because the words, you can argue with the words. You can say, well, A, why should I believe you? You can say, B, well, isn't this just like CBT? Isn't this just another kind of psychology? Isn't this just this? Isn't just this? It does land differently. Mm -hmm. and, and the most powerful sales tool I know for anybody in this is to get somebody to experience it, to give them an experience in some way, um, however you do that. Um, and once people glimpse it, they want more of it. It, 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 it is... I mean, somebody, uh, Mary Beth, at lunch, we were talking about, you know, aren't there some times where chipping away at the iceberg is, is you know, while you're waiting for it to melt can be helpful? And, and what just came to mind is, uh, is, well, look, we can chip away at uh, that 551 foot above the surface, 4,000 plus feet below the surface iceberg forever and not make a dent. We turn up the temperature of the Earth one degree, and it'll be gone in 10 years. We turn it up two degrees, and it'll be gone in probably three years. We turn it up three degrees, and it will be gone in a minute. I, I don't know, the, but you see the, the progression is exponential. Once somebody feels the heat of this, it's already begun. So you've done good, right? Most people who feel the heat of this want the temperature turned up. And that's not you doing more, it's just seeing it more deeply. That's what turns the temperature up and the icebergs start forming and melting like crazy.